Let's start with an overview of uh, the whole of the Power BI product set. Um, we'll start with Power BI Desktop and connect to some Excel spreadsheet data, uh, pull that in and build some visuals. And then I'll show you how to publish that up to the PowerBI.com service uh, and uh, build some dashboards from that that you can then use to track the data over time uh, and share and uh, collaborate with others around your organization. When you open up Power BI Desktop for the first time, you'll see this Getting Started screen. And uh, to, to begin, all you need to do is hit Get Data over on the left-hand side. You'll get a list of all of the data sources that Power BI supports, but we're just going to use Excel for now. Uh, and I'm just going to choose this financial sample workbook um, that I've got on my desktop. So when this connects, you'll see it will pull in a preview of all of the uh, tables and tabs in that Excel workbook. Um, and this financials table has just got some uh, data about the segments and countries and products that were sold, um, how, how many were sold, how much we, uh, we sold them for, the profit and, uh, and the date for the sale. Now, I could edit and transform this data as it gets loaded into Power BI, um, but it's in a pretty good shape already, so I'm just going to load it straight into Power BI Desktop. And you'll see over on the right-hand side here, uh, all of those columns from that Excel table get translated into fields within Power BI. And now building visuals is as simple as dragging and dropping these onto the canvas. So let's take our sales amount and drag that over, uh, and we get a little chart. And let's break that down by the different segments. So I can see now um, that our uh, biggest segment was the government, uh, and then the mid-market and channel partners were smaller down the bottom. So let's add another visual into here. Uh, let's create a map this time. I can also insert visuals by using this, uh, uh, this gallery here. So here's my map. I get a little placeholder until I've added some fields. And again, let's look at the sales. So I can drag that over. Um, and I want to look at that across our different countries. So I can see Canada and North America had some of the, um, sorry, Canada and the USA had some of the highest sales, uh, then a few countries in Europe and Mexico as well. The great thing about Power BI is that all of these visuals get linked automatically together. So if I just want to focus on uh, sales in the government segment, I can click on that in the bar on the left-hand side, and my map on the right-hand side now gets filtered. So I can see that most of the sales in the government were across over in Europe, actually, rather than in, in the USA. And it works both ways. So if I want to focus just on the USA sales, I click that in the map. And now the chart on the left-hand side gets highlighted uh, to just show sales within the USA. So that's great. I've got a really simple uh, uh, report here. Very, very simple with only two visuals. But now let's publish it up to the Power BI service um, uh, to uh, track this and share it with others. So you can see in the ribbon I have this Publish button. I'll get prompted to save the file locally first. Let's just overwrite this old one. And if this is the first time you've done this, you'll get prompted to sign into the uh, Power BI service. So pop in your email address. You may need to authenticate here as well. But you'll get presented with this list. Uh, and this will show you all of the workspaces in uh, the Power BI service. So my workspace is kind of your default scratch pad. Um, but then there are other workspaces that maybe uh, uh, you're part of uh, groups that have these workspaces that you could publish this into as well. I'm just going to select my workspace for now. And now the report's published up to Power BI. And I can click this link, Open in Power BI, to uh, go straight to that report and open it here in the browser. So I can see exactly the same visuals. I get all the same interactivity here in the browser too. And I can now start doing things like pinning these visuals from this report onto dashboards that I could create and share with other people. So to do that, select the visual that you're interested in, and click this little pin button at the top. You'll get a choice of uh, whether you want to pin this to an existing dashboard or to a new one. I'm going to create a new one just to show you. And let's pin that map as well. You'll see you get a little notification telling you that that um, visual was pinned successfully. When you go over to the dashboard, it will take you um, to, to see those visuals here on the dashboard. Now, I could go to many, many different reports and pin all those visuals um, into one dashboard. That's a great thing about these dashboards, is you can pull content together uh, and pull visuals together from many different data sources into one place to keep track of all of that stuff uh, uh, that's important to you, to your business. So that's a really simple example of how you can take data from Excel, uh, pull it into Power BI Desktop, publish it up to the service, and then use that to uh, build dashboards that you can share and use to track your data around your organization.